Okay, so we are in for another training game. And my opponent played the move d4. So I will be playing my main repertoire, knight to f6. So let's see what he does. We're in against a 2089 player. So that's very nice. Okay, so I, I'm going to play my main repertoire, g6. I will play the, the King's Indian defense. So this game I will try and play a little bit quicker because last game, um, you know, especially in the beginning, I was playing very slowly. So this is kind of the setup I go for. Um, so my fianchetto uh, structure with d6 and now I will try and get to move e5 and um, that's the, the main plan especially against this structure that's what I play um, if I remember correctly this is still kind of prep you know, I'm kind of still in, in, in theory here, I think. First knight c6 and then e5. I remember this as a move, but let's just calculate it to be sure. I think here you're supposed to... The thing I'm kind of afraid of is this, but I think this is possible. I mean, it should be. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's knight to c6, so I'm not even gonna think too much about it because I'm pretty sure it's correct. And now e5 should be correct as well. Um, I don't see why it couldn't be played. Yeah, I mean this is still this is still my my. Um, I'm still in theory here, I think. Even though I think I've never played this one in a serious game. Okay, so usually, at least that's how I I've learned it, is that you shouldn't take with the knight. Uh, you kind of want to keep these knights on the board, usually. So that's why I'm gonna take with a pawn. Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm excited for this game. Um, okay. So my opponent goes for the queen trade, which I have to say is not that ambitious. Me as white, I would prefer. First of all, I wouldn't have traded like that. I would have gone for something like e4, queen to c2, rook e1. But okay, he traded and then he traded the queen. So I think we can uh, conclude that this is pretty equal. Probably slightly better for black because he has an extra tempo. And this is also getting annoying. Okay, so I actually need to concentrate already. So what he wants to do is something like go there at some point, either after taking and then or immediately. So I'm actually out of theory already. It's kind of tricky. It's not that boring. I need to be careful. Um, okay. I think this is what you're supposed to do, usually, rook to e8. This is what you do in the exchange variation. Of course, this is not really the exchange because he's castled and shattered already. The point is after this I can take, wait, because my rook is no longer pinned. And after this if he, wait, at least this is what I'm calculating right now. I can defend my pawn on c7. I think that works out. Um, because I don't really want to lose any material. I think that works out, so... Okay, this is like the main idea, main idea in this position. So... I think this is correct. I should have played this maybe a little bit quicker. Need to focus on playing quickly in this game. That will be important. I want to have more time um, in the middle game. So we are kind of now in the end phase of the opening, 
I would say. Maybe middle game already, I mean, the queens are traded off. Okay. So, am I threatening something like this? Maybe. Maybe I am. He should play. I think this move looks very natural. Especially because after this he can do that. That looks good for him. Also, I want to to get a bishop pair. The way to do that would be to play something like this. Takes, takes. Then I would have the bishop pair in a pretty open position. So... Okay, rook to d1. So this is what I what I thought he would play. Okay. Another plan in this position would be to go to c c5. I think that would make sense as well because then this bishop makes no sense to stand on g5 anymore because he's not attacking anything. This may be... Okay, wait. That, that, what then? Then I'm already in trouble, I think. I might be in trouble in that line. He's attacking this. Might be able to play something like that. This, this, this. Still kind of having a lot of pressure there. Okay, so now is this line dangerous? Attacking there. I don't like it, but... Maybe I just play this move. Isn't that just far more natural? Because after this I can take, pick that pick that one off or probably just play rook to c8. That's just more logical. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. Yeah, I think this is the right move to play. Sometimes you don't need to be too complicated. I mean, this is the last piece I needed to develop, so it's far, far the most natural move in the position, I would say. Um, and now I can go for a plan like this or a plan like that. Um, you know, usually these squares are kind of key for black. And of course this one for white. Um, Okay. Okay. I'm glad I'm down I'm down to, to ten minutes and not um, thirty seconds or something. That's um that's one thing. We need to stay hydrated. If we want to win this game, we need to stay hydrated. That's very important. Okay, what a move. Knight to d5 anyway. Wow. Okay, so... I can't take with the knight. 
because on this end one of my pieces is hanging. Okay, so wait, did I actually misplay this something? I don't want to take with the bishop either because it's my strong bishop. I don't really want to go into something like that. Or you could even play. No. Wait, this, this, this. Takes, takes, takes. Of course, my knight is hanging. Okay, this I can do, I think. No, 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 this knight is protecting, of course. I need to take, right? What can, what can I do? What can I do? I need to take. Damn it. Okay, I might have misplayed this already. Takes, takes. Can play this move, probably. This, 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 this takes. This is opening up. Just need to make sure that everything is right. I think it's good. Because I'm threatening that. This, this, this. He can't take. Well, he can take actually. No, he can't take. Because on this and on take. Okay, I think I just have to take. I will stop calculating this. I think is correct. This I calculated was was not that good. I want to go there, I think. And after takes, 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 that's probably what he's gonna do. I could come in there. So it feels alright. It feels alright. Even though this pawn, this pawn is pretty annoying. I might have to do this, but then this, you know? Probably. No, because I take it. What am I even saying? Okay, is this something actually? He's probably gonna defend that one. Somehow. How can he defend it? This. It's still not clear how this is going. I kind of like this. This line, because my rook is getting active. Um, and also, my bishop has like pressure against his rook, kind of. And against this, even though he has pressure over there, I think it's fine. So I'm gonna play it. Yes. If he doesn't take, could probably something do something like that maybe. Plan of takes, takes, and there. But he's definitely going to take, and I can pre-move that if I want. By the way, we didn't see his flag. Oh, he doesn't have a flag. Because I'm a very notorious flag guesser. If you didn't know that already. Wait a sec, he just completely skipped my move, okay. <sighs> well, that's weird. I mean, takes, takes, and then what, and then this, and then I can almost take. 
almost. <laughs> not, not really. Like that. It's probably going to, to go there then, yeah. And then his bishop is kind of trapped. Does that make sense? I think it is. Like, this line looks good to me. This, this. Maybe a, even like... Okay, I'm gonna take this anyway. And just... After this, he may might play this move. His bishop is kind of weird, but then he can put that one back. So I don't want that. I want his bishop to stay there. So I think this is the right move in this position. It feels like... It feels like it's the right move. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I don't want him to play for himself. Because then these pawns get very strong. Yeah, this is also weird to stay on this diagonal makes no sense. I should have gone there or something. Okay, I need to I need to play quicker. Wait, this he needs to take and take. Do I like that? <coughs> oh my god. Okay, do I like that position? I think I do. I wouldn't see why not, to be honest. I kind of do. Yeah, seems great. Let's calculate this. This, this. This. You can always defend with a move like this, for example. No, because then it takes. That's a little bit annoying. Or does he? Yeah, my plan is kind of to play a 5 in some line. Defend the spawn and play my rooks like on these kind of squares to, to attack his thing. I think that just makes a lot of sense, so I'm not even going to think about it. It's what I'm going to do. So he's he has to play there, uh, there. otherwise he just loses um, the spawn, yeah? So after, for example, this, uh, if takes, I take, and it's not like he can take there because I take with check this and takes and he loses a pawn so he has to take okay and we have a very interesting opposite color bishop end game which if i will if i want to win this one i will need to keep the, the rooks on the board and i do want to win okay Yeah, I think it's a little bit better for me because of this. This guy. Wait, I might have completely missed his. No, it's not true. It's not true. Okay. Because I defend the skirt. That's kind of lucky. Okay. I might have missed that I lost this one, but that's of course not the case. What I also was thinking was after takes, takes, he'll probably go there. Then I can do that and then he, I think he can't take because I have this one in, in between. Although after this, if I want to take, he takes. Mm. I play there. I don't know what is that like. That looks like a very complicated yet very drawish kind of position in which like yeah i don't think that's anything i might have to go for that though i don't know if i have to play this for a win or i feel like um i want to play this for a win even though usually I've, i'm far too too optimistic about my chances yeah, so this is what I calculated I thought this this and I thought this this but I don't I'm not sure if I like that I'm not sure if I like that okay this 
Is that something? Maybe I need to do something like... Yeah, I'm also threatening there, right? So he... This he takes, yeah, that's just a better pawn to, to have. So I don't really want to do that, because I don't want to like trade material or something. So let's do that, I think, that's, or this. Does it matter too much? It probably does. Okay, let's just not think about it. Oh wait, did I miss this move? I need to be kind of careful, actually. I need to be careful. This, this, you can already do this one. Which I don't like. Maybe it's fine. This, 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 this. Takes because I have this. Might be okay. <laughs> Let's see. I don't really want to like go into these types of things because then his bishop gets active this pawn is for me worth more than the average pawn let's say because it's keeping this bishop from getting active so if he, he attacks it i definitely want to prevent him from from taking it i think after this i will have to do that I think I will have to. It's kind of a, a passive um, formation with these pawns, just looking at this. Okay, he didn't went for that. He defended his pawn. That just makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, it is. You can do this now. Not really, because I'm not threatening to take, because he takes back there. Is going for this move. I kind of want to do that, but I don't have the time. I think. Do I? I don't. Is this something I want to do? My bishop is so passive. I don't like that. Okay, this, this. Maybe I go for this actually. This, this, because I get in there. That might be good for me. Yeah. Is there something he can do against that? I don't know, it's kind of weird to put my rook like before my bishop, right? It's kind of weird, but we'll see. I also want to go for this. That's also why I did this. If he doesn't do anything, I can go for that plan. And then my position would be very stable. Or back, or, or back and then. Probably this though. Tickle him, tickle him from the back, something like that, to court, you know, this, this coordinate his, his rooks. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, I just realized he could play this actually. Oh wow. Yeah. This is just hanging. And I don't want this then. I don't want it. Because at the end he takes there. I don't have this one in time because he just takes. No, I do because I can take. Okay, so this, 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 this I can do. No, because of check. This, this, this takes. I don't like that. Takes, takes, this. This is a good move. I hope he doesn't find it. But he probably will. After this, this maybe? That, lo that, lo that looks so awkward. That looks so awkward with my rooks, but it might be the only m move. I mean. It might just be the only playable option for me. But then my position gets really awkward because then my bishop can't go in. So I really hope he doesn't do that. Okay, I'm happy he did that. Okay, I'm happy with that. Takes, takes, takes. Is he going to do that? Maybe. My, pun my pawns are pretty weak actually. This? Is this a pos possibility? Maybe that's what I should do. No, because this hangs. Okay. I will need to accept a, a worse position, right, or not? I just need to accept it. I don't see another way. Yeah, I accept um, to be down a pawn. So I play this one for a draw, not for a win anymore. <sighs> yeah, I misplayed it. Okay. Okay, I need to play my moves. Wait, he took with. Wait, did he do that? This now, right? Okay. 
probably go there. And I'll go there. I expected him to just take take my bonus C7. So. Oh, okay. Let's focus. He has to go there, there is no other way. Or this I can even retreat. That's probably still equal, right? Yeah, now I'm not down a pawn. That's good, actually. That's very good. Okay, I just want to play good moves, so I'm just going to improve my king. I don't want to waste too much time. This is just a very n natural kind of thing to do. After this, I can just go back. So. Now I might be playing this for a win, actually, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, not down upon anymore, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I Something in me <clears throat> was telling me that I was down upon, but I'm not. So if the rooks get traded, uh, chances of going into a drawing endgame are extremely high. Um, or just chances of getting a draw are, are high. So I don't want to trade rooks. I just want to improve my king. Oh, I should have expected that one. This is annoying, right? I don't want to do this though. Well, I might have to. Then this pawn is kind of weak, so I can target it. Might be fine. Yeah, okay, let's go for it anyway. I don't care. Yeah, this structure is kind of annoying if he can in some way get get in my position, but I don't think he can. Do this, I just go there. The reason I did this is also because I think this pawn is a target, as, as well as if he plays that, I can target it like that. I didn't want him to do that because then these pawns were getting weakened and his bishop would get better um, because now these pawns kind of function as a you know barrier for his bishop so he doesn't have as many squares um, as well as this right so he doesn't really have has too many squares to go to now which can be a good thing but it can be a very bad thing as well when he is able to get behind my pawns and just pick pick them all up. So that's kind of the tricky part about um, about these bishops. Okay, let's concentrate. What's my next move? I think I, I think bishop d8 or king to e7, but I kind of like bishop d8. Yeah, he's going for that. Ah, I told you he was going to. Okay, but now I have this move, right? Then he goes there and then I have to go back. And then he goes there. Oh, damn it, that's strong. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to lose um, my focus here. I feel like I'm not concentrated enough. I need to just play moves, not explain too much now. After this, I play there, I think. I think I have to. It 
it's not that big of a, of a deal, I think. It's okay, it's okay. Because I can always later on just do that. My bishop, my rook is pretty awkward there, though. So I don't like it. But okay, I probably have to do it. Okay. I d I don't know why he didn't just play that instantly, but there's probably a reason. I'm missing. Probably go going to do that now, but he can't because this is hanging. Okay, I want to control this square, obviously. This is a good position for me. I feel very confident, but I need to concentrate. Just playing quickly, <laughs> want to gain time. Oh no. Do that.
Wait, maybe this was a blender by him? And this is hanging as well. I go there now, right? No. I go there, this is what I calculated. Oh, that's not working. I have to go into this. I don't know, what is this end game? I don't know. I think it's good for me. Yeah, I think it's good for me. He has to do something. Wait, this is winning for me. I win, I win these pawns. This is my plan, very simple plan. He can't come in, he can't come in. <sighs> but I need three pawns because two pawns is not enough. Oh, he might... Ah... Yeah, maybe it was a draw the whole time, maybe it was. Did I have a win? I don't know, this is obviously a draw now. Did I have a win? Yeah, he's going to draw this obviously, but... Yeah. I can't do anything. Yeah, this is a draw. Hmm. What did I miss? I was so confident that I was going to win this one. Well, I guess we have to make a draw then. Yeah? Wait, he declined the, the draw or something? Oh, now I send it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's analyze this one. Okay, I'm especially cur cur curious, if I pronounce that well, um, about about the end game. I think the end game was very very nice, but still, okay, it's the ninth today, apparently. So 
we might have a look with the book the book first if just to check if my 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 moves were okay so this 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 okay bishop g to g5 i just want to check i'm i'm sure this is correct if this is the the you know the book move let's let's check okay so the main move is um wait i don't want the engine to be on okay the engine is not on okay it's just because i'm okay so bishop to e6 is the main move rook to e8 is so what's the point of this move then the point is knight to d2 and then h6 and then takes takes knight there okay so obviously he wants to make use of that of that square so the move rook e8 is played two times in the database the leeches database um but i guess this is this one has to be the main line then with the id that um yeah so after this so let's just check what what's the id no games found wait just want to check if this is not a good move because like why are the he's not hanging okay because you can <laughs> okay yes of course you can take the knight after this okay so i was kind of thinking about that but that's not possible okay so now i'm thinking like okay knight there is a move i would consider but that of course we take as well so that what that's what i was scared of during the game but because my rook was on e8 um and now the move played was always knight to d5 and everyone um took the knight but my opponent didn't play knight to d5 okay yeah this what this was what i was thinking about during the game as well okay let's close the book i want to be able to think on myself but this is kind of interesting to see that bishop to e6 was probably better i don't want to check with the engine really uh, i just want to see what other players played in their games okay so rook, e rook there there bishop e6 uh, so i was thinking about things like that but um bishop to e6 is far more natural knight there and then this is already kind of since my rook is, is not on the eight i can't take it so this is already kind of uncomfortable for me so rook rook e8 might have been just a miss my first mistake definitely because now you know i need to give up my bishop i can't take as i explained in the game because my my pieces are hanging there so i have to take uh, I mean, I can't play anything else. This is hanging as well, and this is hanging. So I need to take, take, and then I thought about this, but I didn't like that because of this. Uh, and, you know, I just, even even if I don't lose my rooks or an exchange in this position, uh, of course, I'm just down a pawn, and my pawn structure is completely flattered. So that's not good. Okay, so it takes on d5 that's what was played and then i obviously didn't went for that i think this is still the best line but yeah now he should have gone for something like this i think that would have been better for him right and now just like maybe defending this pawn somehow maybe this and then just making use of of that diagonal does that make sense i don't know at least what I think about this is that I'm already kind of worse in this position. So e3 was just a mistake by him, I think. You don't want to play pawn moves. You, you just don't. If it's not improving a piece, it's a bad move. That's just, uh, that's just how it is. Um, so I think he has to take. And then what?
This is what I thought in the game and I was quite happy with this. Yeah, if I can get this in, that's good because my rook is getting active. He probably has to exchange rooks. No, because then I take in in the end. No, because he's defended. Yeah. This is it's looking already equal. Even though it might be a little bit better for, for white because he has pressure there and this is strong. So this is probably the best I can get. But even here, I don't think he has to like take immediately, especially because it's strengthening my bishop. So something what I was thinking about was since this is hanging, might want to consider playing something like this, just defending the pawn. Um, looks good. I mean, what what would I do? Something like this, attacking. And then he can take, right? And then at least he has an extra center pawn in the end. So that kinda, that's kinda better for him, I think. Right, so something like this. I can't take even, so. I might have to defend this one with a knight move. But as you can see, it's already kinda awkward for me. So this would have been already worse for me, I feel. So I'm kind of lucky to to be able to get into this and then just be able to play e4, I think was just good for me. I was feeling confident after that move. I was like playing for a win. I don't know if that was like correct to think that I was better here, but at least since he didn't go back to like this square, where the bishop would be just better. Unless, of course, he wants to win this this pawn, which he did in the game, because I didn't play correctly. Then, staying on this diagonal is probably fine, because he wins this pawn back, but... I think I should have been able to just defend that one. It was not that difficult. So, okay, takes, takes, this is all what I calculated. I mean, defending the c7 pawn is very natural b3 and then b rook there, I don't know what this was. What the heck, also in this position I, I'm already down to 2 minutes, my opponent has still 9 minutes, so my whole go goal in this game was to have more time and I didn't manage to because I, I had to rush this move, I thought about it for a minute and a half and I had to rush it, couldn't calculate it, you know. It's, it's probably not only my time, but also just me being very slow at calculating things. Um, you know, apart from my time management uh, thing, I'm also just very slow, basically. Um, so I need to work on that. I need to work on, on my time control and my calculation. I missed some things, especially here in the game. I think I made some mistakes. Rook e5, bishop, rook there, and I'm... Like, just if he, if he would have played this, this would have been so bad for me. I don't know, what am I supposed to do here? I think this would have been really bad. This, this is what, what I was scared of. Yeah, this is what I was scared of. Because I can't take in any way, that's the problem. If I take, 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 he can go there. And this isn't doing anything. I mean, he can just do that. And he's just picking up all my pawns. And I might pick up one of one of his, but he'll probably have one more in, in the end game, which might be still drawn, by the way, but in this position, I was still just thinking about winning, so. Yeah, I think if, if rook d5, it's already kind of difficult. So what do I do in this position? Maybe I'm just over, um, you know, overconfident, as I said in the game. Um, maybe I think I have more chances there, but it might just not be true. Maybe this pawn isn't that strong as I, I think. Um, I could play something like that, but I wanted to keep the pressure on. Especially because now you can just play that. I don't think I can be better in such a situation. 
I just can't. I mean, this is not better for me. Um, even if he doesn't win this spawn, my rooks look very stupid there. And you can just, you know, reroute his, his piece. Uh, but, okay, this might be just my, even be just better than what I played in the game, to be honest. Probably something like that. Yeah, I mean, if I go for something like, okay, I can also just put my bishop back, maybe. That's more logical. Or something like this. Or just back, back, probably. Doesn't really matter. This is already just completely equal, equal in my mind. This is maybe better because the spawn is strong, but after something like this. Maybe I should go for this just slow, slow play. Then he would probably go for something like that. I would do something like this, this, this. And he would have rerouted his bishop. And to be honest, I think this is just dead equal. Uh, maybe it's a little bit better for me because I have more, more space. And should I have gone for this? Yes, I should have probably. Because this, this looks far better than what I just uh, showed you. Like this line with me just um, being like, where where was that line? Yeah, like after after my rook d5 move in the game. Uh, like like this move, for example. And then I would have to take, I think, if I do this, then this probably is already completely winning. Not sure, actually. At least I, I felt in the game like this was not good. But maybe I have to... I can also just put extra pressure against this. I don't know, anyway, I think I sh this this looks just also like such a weird move. I mean, why would you put your rook behind your... before your bishop? That makes just no sense. I also said it in the game, like... It feels kind of awkward, but I think... No, <laughs> this is just not like the move you, especially with my rook like coming to e7 later on, I think. No, that was not the line I played because this was a so strong and then I had to go into this. Here, he, he also just completely missed this move. If he just goes for this, he's up a pawn. Why didn't he go for that? This is also just completely like better for, for him in like any... Uh, you know, this, this, I mean, it's not like this pin isn't doing anything. If I would have a white bishop, it would, because I would play that move in and it would be mate. Um, you know, or not, yeah, yeah, after this probably, yeah, it still would be mate, obviously. Um, yeah, what am I even saying? Yeah, this would be mate, but um, I don't. So he doesn't have to be scared. Um, so after something like this, 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 uh, this is just better for him, I think. Probably this or something. His rook is on the seventh, putting pressure, doing stuff. Me, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, it's probably still equal though. Excuse me? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. These these end games are usually very weird, but here I managed to. This was just good for me. I played well, like a six, good move. This, this, all good. This, this, rook d eight, all all very good moves. This, and then I. Yeah, and then I was in time trouble, and then I thought this like very nice. I'm winning like this, and <laughs> and then all of a sudden, yeah, this was a miscalculation. You could just go there, and now this isn't as strong anymore. And I went back to go there, but then this is very strong, and so I feel like this is still so good for me. Like this is like. How can I win this?
could also yeah this is not good because of that and then here I felt like this was good but then this yeah I didn't want to go passive I didn't want that I didn't want that because also he could have just got done that probably so this was probably all, all fine but he got out of this you know he got out of it somehow he managed to do that Wait, maybe I should have like Wait, is there something like this is this like better wait let's see if like this was better maybe is this wait is this winning I think it might be I have an extra tempo so now if he, if his king go, comes closer he doesn't make any chance because I have this um, first of all he can't come in but I also would have would have had this move for example this would be winning wow so this would be winning probably even right did I just miss that tick 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 yeah I thought it would work out in the game but this is so strong I can't go there and even if I would yeah if I would that would have been good yeah but I couldn't because this is such a strong move I can't do anything okay so yeah I mean I have to uh, this is just a draw in my opinion I was very happy till like I saw this and then I was like is this winning uh, 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 no I mean I can't just play any other move I think wait this yeah this is not not something I would it's just the same I think is the same eventually I would have to sack my bishop and it would be still a draw so I might have just completely threw it away like here like no time on the clock just missing this move is that what I did wrong I think I did actually threatening this is just very strong I mean he this is like his only move right what 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 else does he do I don't see any other move this this he has to take if he doesn't I go there which is very strong so he has to take and this is completely winning I, I just stay there yeah I mean is this like completely winning I think it is if I don't know it's still complicated probably but okay so first of all I tra I'm threatening that so let's say this oh wow he's already winning my pawn back yeah yeah and then it's already a draw it's actually not winning opposite color bishop endgames are so drawn all the time it's so drawn like everything is a draw like can I like win this I mean probably w just with trading rooks I just give him a chance to, to draw this this is the only thing I can play though so even even you know even if he doesn't play this which he would if he if he did that this would still be a like, complete complete draw even if I'm able to defend these pawns, it's still a drive. He knows the the right thing to do. Uh, it's not that difficult, by the way. He just wants to stay on these squares. And it's a draw. It's pretty easy. That, that's just what you want to do. And it's a draw. I can't do anything. I don't have any power over the white squares. So it's a complete draw. Okay, so we learned today that if I want to win, I better not trade rooks. 
The problem was in the position I had to if I wanted to win the pawn. You know. Wait, I might have just... Like, this is also a move, I mean. I don't have to trade rooks, that's also like the whole point. You can also just do this, this and like take there. So why don't I do it then? It feels always like I have to trade material to secure uh, a win, you know? But in these types of games you want to keep the rooks on the board. Even though, to be honest, like this and I, I, I. <laughs> So, I don't know, I mean, uh, if you just get something in like uh, like this and this, it's not that easy though. I mean, it is probably, but... but that doesn't work because I have this, but... This is also very strong coming down there. Should have probably. This, this. Can go back. Try to go for that afterwards. But you know, a move like that then. I don't know, it's very difficult to say. This is already looking like some really weird like just if he gets some activity this can already take there it's probably like all the lines that this is just me playing it out like what what i see as the best moves for for e either side kind of this is probably still like a, a draw, you know. Yeah, it's, it's just very difficult because there are so many factors that actually play a role in these types of positions. Like the, um, firstly material, of course, but also just the activity of your pieces. Also the king, I mean, my king is very bad. His king is very active or at least potentially, as we saw in some of these lines. So in the end, um, he managed to uh, to get the draw the, uh, in, which, um, you know, in the end, I don't think like, I could have done a whole lot of stuff actually to prevent that. I might have had some chances of like, just not going down into a, um, into this end game, you know, opposite color bishop end game. Uh, should not have traded rooks, uh, and just generally speaking. Even though probably just these types of positions, you know, opposite color bishops, even with two rooks, you know, if one one side has a pawn lesser, you know, it, it doesn't really matters that much. I feel usually. Um, but it can, I mean, in some lines, generally speaking, I should not go into these end games if I want to win. Also in the opening, I learned that I, that probably bishop to e6 is better, which I probably will have a look at later. So I think this was a very interesting game. I learned that probably bishop e6 in the, in the, the opening is better. Um, you know, I learned that. 
I need to play quicker as well. Um, rook, rook e5 was a complete miscalculation um, when I had like one or two minutes on the clock. So I learned that I just need to give myself more time in these kind of cr critical situations that I need to calculate stuff uh, and I, I need to play a good move. Um, and um, well, I think the game was fine, but of course I like winning and so I can't really say I'm um, very happy with the game, but okay. Still, I think it was um, it was a nice game. So GG's to Swanta. Um, and uh, with that said, I hope to see you um, in the next one. Bye.